how to create a gradient filled zigzag design in Affinity Photo. Sadly, there's no zigzag shape tool. It'd be really nice if there was, but there isn't. So I've got a zigzag design here filled with a gradient. So how to do that? Well, I use the grid. I want a, a regular design. So I'm just gonna go with view and show grid. Very useful and view and snapping manager. And you've got enable snapping and snap to grid. So when you add your points or nodes, will be snapped to those points there. You can change the grid if you wish via view and grid and accent. I'm just gonna go with the default. Now go over to here to the pen tool and then simply click, click, click. Just go up and down like a standard zigzag. So you've got your design there. What you can also do if you wanna create something more, you can actually duplicate that design so you've got multiple zigzags. I'm not gonna go with that. I'm just gonna go with this design here. But I can manipulate the stroke. So it's just got no fill, but it's got a stroke. I can change the color. So I'll maybe make it red, perfectly reasonable. Also go and change the width. Manipulate that. What you can also do, you can change the cap. You can see, just change caps there. But I'm just gonna go with default. Also you can change join. And you can change the mitre as well. So you can change all the various settings. That one's quite reasonable, or maybe that, it's up to you. Now this, if you go with this one, you've got rounded here, unfortunately, it's not rounded there. You may or may not want that. Up to you. You can manipulate it, say, in other ways, just by changing these various settings to have maybe something slightly different. Maybe go with that one. That's just as good, probably, as you're going to get. You could, of course, go with the other ones as well. Now, once you've got this design, I want to expand it. Sadly, there's no feature in Affinity Photo to expand. I do not know why. Seems to be very odd. However, there is a workaround, and that is select, select and selection from layer and delete. You could use that one as well if you wish, but you can use that one. So that just removes it. So you've got now a selection. Now I'm going to fill it with a gradient, but firstly, you need a layer. So layers and swatches. So you can find those in view and studio and go down to layers and swatches. So with layers, just go and add a layer. So layer and new layer. Now you can fill it. I'm just gonna go over here to the gradient tool and simply add a gradient. I'm using linear, you could use elliptical, radial, etc. or maybe fill it with a bitmap. But also what you can do, go to swatches. There's a whole range of different swatches. You may have a different set of Swatches, just gonna go with that one. And you can manipulate the gradient again. So you might not have all those sort of designs there, but you can always add gradients. And there's also video tutorials about how to add gradients. So with your design there, what you can do, you can just go to, go to layers, and you can go down here and go, don't know that one, could go with that one of course, but I can also go with layer effects. So click there and brings up the layer effects. You may want to remove the selection before you do anything, so deselect. That's probably a good idea. So you've got your pixel layer, now go to effects. And you can go to like outer shadow. So outer shadow, and you can do offset intensity, and you can see your design there. You can obviously change the blending mode, change your opacity, etc. Now I always find that this is a bit odd, the way it takes quite a bit of effort to get the selection, the uh, to see the radius, see the shadow itself. Also what you can do, you can go to bevel, bevel and boss, select that, maybe go for outer or inner, and then you can manipulate the radius there. Soften, maybe change the direction, like that, close. Now you've got your design. Oh, I'm just gonna, I can move that around, and you can, of course, duplicate that if you wish. So you can create all kinds of zigzag designs like that. 
Also, of course, once you've got your zigzag design, you can always apply filters. Maybe use deform or distort it. Like deform there. So you just add some points and you can manipulate the design. Obviously, it doesn't look like a zigzag once you've done that, but you can see you can just tweak that pixel layer in numerous ways. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go with that single design. Of course, you can also recolor it if you wish. You always go to layer and new adjustment layer and maybe use one of these. So HSL. So that brings up HSL just over there. And you can manipulate and change design. Now you're seeing what happens. It's modifying all the layers. Now I don't want that. I just want to manipulate the one layer. So you can see what's happened. The layer is on top there. Well, you can simply, if you just want it to apply to one, just drag it down so it actually just goes there. You can see it just highlight just to that point. And then all the others remain the same. And you've got your design there. And then double click on that if you want to just change that. And you can see now the design just changes for that one, which is what I want with that. Now, of course, you could always duplicate that with that adjustment and then change the colors for the rest. So there you have it, a zigzag design without a zigzag shape tool. It'd be really nice if there was a zigzag shape tool. Sadly, there isn't, but this is a way of creating a colorful zigzag design in Affinity Photo. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Please subscribe to Graphic Extra channel, always adding new tutorials about Affinity Photo, Photoshop, Illustrator, Affinity Designer, Painter, and many, many others. Also, please add some comments. What did I do right? What did I do wrong? Also, a dislike or like, always appreciated. Thank you much.